Hi guys, this is YQ from Tarot Singapore Online and today I'm going to show you a sample reading of how I do readings for clients. And guess who we're going to use as a guinea pig today? Yes, myself. Are going to do a kind of intimate and slightly vulnerable reading for myself. I am going to do a reading of the past, present and future of my love life. So if you do have such a question for your tarot reader, what you need to do is that you first tell her, for example me, that okay you want to do the past, present, future and give her a brief description of what's happening in your love life because like I said in the previous video, even though some readers can do cold readings, which means that you don't tell them anything and they know everything, I don't do that because I know that you have a problem when you come to me and I want to know how I can help you. So the more description you tell me, the more it is possible that I can help you. So if I were a client, what I would do is I would text me and I would say that, uh, Dear YQ, um, you know, uh, my love life has been quite terrible in the past and the present and I'm just, you know, want to figure out what is it that I can do to change this? Because as I also mentioned previously, is that you have the possibility to make changes to your own life. So if the cards show you something, I'm not going to look at this yet, it means that it might happen if things continue, but you do have the ability to make changes. So we're going to switch camera angles to do a reading for myself. All right, let's get going. So whenever I do a tarot reading, I have a disclaimer. I tell people that tarot reading is not fortune telling. Whatever appears in the cards is what might happen. And if you don't like the results, it's telling you that you have the ability to make the change so that that situation doesn't happen. So if you don't like the cards, doesn't mean that you're stuck with it. It just means that you have to make a change, you, you know? Yeah, you can't just keep doing whatever you had been doing and expect something different. So now we're doing a reading for my love life, which I personally know very well. <laughs> and I can give a description of what's gonna happen. So. I shuffle the cards and I will think about the questions that you send over and uh, and I will pick the cards so I will pick cards that pop out to me and uh, so past present future and I'm just gonna flip them over ooh 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 <laughs> I don't make that much noise during my uh, the readings um so we have in the past the hermit card the hermit refers to a person who likes being alone so i would also think that this means my barren love life so in the past i had been this person and actually i'm pretty fine being alone as well so that's another point to consider when you look at this card it's not just that it's sad it's that you know i choose to be alone people and then a uh, death card Okay, here's the thing. Death card doesn't mean that someone will die or my future husband's gonna die But it means that a new beginning is gonna happen because something in the past has stopped and For this particular deck death is a very very pretty woman a very very pretty woman and I would say from this that it would also give me a hint of what I would need to do to be more successful in my love life which is like to take this appearance of this like very feminine seductive woman because god knows i'm not that kind of woman and uh, it's just telling me to you know let go of whatever past as well that okay if i keep thinking that i've been like forever alone forever that's not gonna help you have to stop thinking that way and st start thinking something new you know stop stop that stop and then just go on you because something is good is gonna happen the wheel of fortune means that there is a change change that's gonna happen because if you see the wheel it turns it means that now if i'm like at the bottom oh everything's so terrible i'm gonna come up i'm gonna come up soon and the death card matches this so well because it has to end before I come up again and it tells me that my future love life is actually gonna be pretty good so I'll have to 
I'll have to see if that's true. And um, from here, I, I I plucked out an extra card just to see you know what sort of action I should do to like make this happen faster. So here's the Pope. The Pope, besides um, meaning religion, I would think that for my case, it's not religion because I'm not very religious. I would say that it means tradition. So I should be follow like traditional paths of courtship and it it kind of like matches death card because i had i had been like too self-absorbed and i just need to follow like the dating guidelines and temperance i'm pulling out another one means that i need to have patience and i need to have balance and i shouldn't be doing like too many things that it's probably not very good for my love life anyway thank you so much so this is what will happen during a reading and after my video description i would film it and i would no i i'm filming the video description and i would write it up in a pdf for you because i find that this double process helps a lot because when i'm reading the cards like this in the video it is like very now very like immediate kind of feelings towards it. I find this double process helpful because when I'm doing like an immediate reading, it's just the first things that pop out of my mind and sometimes I would have more to elaborate on further in the PDF and then you just have to watch the video and read the PDF. The PDF will probably have like the last thoughts that I have and the video is kind of like the first thoughts. So you, I would suggest you watch it first and then you read the PDF so that you get like the both sides of the story. So thank you again everybody. I am YQ from Tarot Singapore Online and this has been Tarot Talk with Tarot Singapore Online. Thank you.